Hello Gun Nation, Big Johnson coming at you. All right, what we're gonna be talking about is the Bog Death Grip. Uh, this is a shooting tripod. Now, I personally have never used a shooting tripod, so that's why I really was excited to try this one out. I reached out to them and uh, got this sent in for testing and evaluation. Now, this is the carbon fiber model. They do have the carbon fiber, and then they have the aluminum version. Uh, so the aluminum is less. This one runs about 249 MSRP, uh, or 279 MSRP, and I have seen the aluminum ones for like 150, and I'll leave some link below if you want to check them out. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about this. I've been testing this for quite a bit, uh, and there will be some shooting uh, footage and everything added to the end of this video, but I wanted to get the basics out of the way so you'll kind of understand a little about it. But uh, again, this is the Bog Carbon Fiber Death Grip. Uh, what it has, and of course this is your, I'll just kind of go over a couple of features. This is where you're going to put the rifle and you're going to tighten it. Between here and here, its width opening, its widest opening is three inches. So three inches, you know, three inch gun will fit in there. I did shoot an AR-15 in here. I shot an AR-10 in here with a lot more recoil to test it. So, um, and an AR-15 pistol, which was kind of short, but uh, it still worked. But it's like it really wasn't needed. Um, but what will this do? Of course, you can put your rifle in here and you just turn this and you're gonna, or excuse me, flip this around. Put your rifle in here and you're gonna turn this and of course it tightens. This is real thick rubber uh, padding in here with a grip so it's not gonna come off. Uh, so that is your adjustability. And of course it'll go pretty, pretty narrow. I'll go ahead and show you its narrowest and I'll measure it for you real quick while we're at it. This is the narrowest it will go, and that is, and I'm just going by the inside, it's about one and a half inches. So that's how narrow it will get, uh, if you're considering that. Um, and then of course you can just tighten this down, your rifle's good, and it does allow tilting, so you can tilt up and down, and when you find the angle that you need, you just turn this, and it will actually lock your tilt. Now another cool thing about this is it has panning. So it will tighten your rifle in, you can adjust your angle, and then it will pan. Now these two are lockable. The pan, you could tighten it a little bit just so it doesn't move as much, but it is not lockable. And it says do not over tighten this also in the instructions. So there's one thing. Now on the legs, these things go out pretty far and you'll see in the video, I'm 6'3", and I just have to bend down just a little bit to get my eye behind the scope or, you know, so I'm, if I'm standing straight up, I am going to have to bend over to look in the scope. Some people who are really tall have said that was an issue. I shot about between the 5.56 and the 308. I probably shot maybe uh, 400 plus rounds uh, total. You know, uh, probably 200 rounds of 308, and maybe about 250 of AR-15 uh, or 5.56, and. It didn't like hurt my back or anything, but you know, people can vary. So there's the features of the top portion. And then of course your legs, they are, you know, they pull all the way out, they lock, they have these dual locks. You can see these. So of course your leg will pull out and it comes with a strap on here. But also on the feet, you'll notice I left one screwed out. You can actually screw these in so you're on rubber or you can screw them out so you've got the spike sticking out. So you just unscrew these and the spikes will come out, um, or excuse me, you screw them in and the spikes come out or you screw them out and then you just have rubber. So none of the metal will touch the ground. So that's a really neat, neat feature too, in case you're in the dirt or something like that. But, oh, and it does on one of the arms, it does have a pad so you can actually hold it. So, you know, you're shooting this hand, you know, you're, you've got that hand on the tripod, this hand on your rifle, on your grip. Uh, the legs will go out to 20, and I'll try to show you this. You push it 20, 45, and 85. So it does have three positions and they'll actually turn out. And it's kind of hard to show this. If I was just walking around, y'all wouldn't get the gist of it. That's why I'm doing it this way. But 20, 45, and 85. So you can have a 20 degree angle, 45 degree angle, or an 85 degree angle. But then the 85 degree angle will open all the way up and you can go completely prone with this. So all legs will be completely flat and you can sit right behind it in the prone position. So that's really cool also. 
Now, just to be honest with you, I did not try it in the prone. I tried it in the uh, the uh, 85, or excuse me, the 20 and the 45. That's what I tried it in. So I didn't go all the way in the prone with it. But, um, you know, I did open it up. I just didn't shoot in that position. So I set it all the way down and looked at it. But anyway, this is a neat little thing. I think this whole package, uh, or this right here as it is, I think it weighs about seven and a half pounds. I tried to put it on my scale and it's kind of, you know, it's kind of weird. So it wouldn't give me, you know, it was going to like between 3.5 or 7.5 and like 7.8. It was going back and forth. So it wouldn't give me a true measurement, but I've got a small scale. So there's this part. Stay tuned for the shooting part to follow. I appreciate y'all so much. Stay tuned. Hello Gun Nation, Big Johnson coming at you here at Texas Gun Experience. Doing a little more testing on the BOG. Uh, this is actually the BOG Death Grip, and this is a carbon fiber. They do have an aluminum version, and they have the carbon fiber version. This was sent out for testing and evaluation. I wanted the carbon fiber um, because I have had aluminum tripods, now not shooting tripods, um, but if you dent it, stuff like that, sometimes it won't fold up good. Now I don't know as far as theirs, I haven't tested their aluminum, but uh, this is the carbon fiber version. So the neat thing about it is, and it does have the Lancer L30 uh, AR10, so this is a beast. I uh, do have the Q suppressor on it, so doing some shooting. And of course you can turn it, you can pan it, you know, you can tilt it, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. And so far, so good. And you just clamp it in there, tighten it down, you know, do that. But uh, recoil, you know, I've shot it before. It does have a little grip here and I'll kind of show you in another video or I'll patch this into another one. But, um, you know, when you shoot it, it does recoil back a little bit. But as far as it tilting and moving your rifle around, it doesn't do that. And that's why I wanted to use it on an AR-10. AR-15 has less recoil, of course. AR-10 has more recoil. Uh, so that's why I wanted to test that. So, but we'll just go ahead. I'm gonna go for the two here, and this rifle is unloaded, but I'm gonna go for the two here. And, or i tell you what, uh, yeah. Now that might be a little close to the wall uh, for this bad boy. So we're gonna go for the 10. I'm just gonna send it out and uh, shoot the 10. And I'll just try to go for the number right there, but, uh, We'll just shoot it, you know, because I can pan over to it. And uh, I want to make sure I have enough room here for myself because this bay is uh, pretty narrow. However, the death grip does fit in this bay. And when I shoot the suppressors, I have to come up to jail to give it a conjugal visit. So that's what I'm doing. But the neat thing is at Texas Gun Experience, when you buy suppressors here, you can actually come shoot them here. You can check them out with your driver's license and come shoot them. So. A lot of gun shops that don't have gun ranges, you can't do that. So this is one of the reasons I bought mine here. Plus it's a great place. But anyway, I've got some rounds in here. Uh, I'll tell you what, I've got more rounds in here. So let's go with this one. But um, I'll just, uh, I'll shoot it on the 10 over there. And we'll, uh, we'll see. I shot it from a little ways ago and there were the five group. And like I said, I'm not shooting for super groups. Uh, because to be honest with you, with my new glasses uh, for my astigmatism, I can see the horseshoe red reticle, but I can't see, I can't read the little lines. So I'm just putting the horseshoe on it, and that's where I'm putting it. So anyway, but we'll run it. I'll send it out to, uh, let's go out to, let's go out to 25 yards. I'm just going to go for that top again. And with the rifle in here, you can load this mag, so it doesn't really get in the way. And this is a 25 round mag, so it's in. We will rack this bad boy, and we will start. Shooting. So, and it's like I said, I've got a little grip right down here, a little rubberized grip on one of the legs. So, I'll go ahead and hold that, get my visual here. Tell you what, let's go for something smaller. That 10's pretty big. 
I'm gonna go for the lower. There is a seven, or let's just go for the eight. So it's gonna be two down from the 10, of course. So there's an eight. But then there's also like little spikes you can screw out. So if you're in dirt, uh, you can screw it out. But I wanted to go for the eight because it was smaller. I don't know how well y'all can see that, but a bad little group. I mean, it's only 25 yards and I'm not a bullet hole and bullet shooter, but they're all there. There's my finger. So, not bad, not bad for a blind man, but again, that's only 25 yards. So, but it looks like for scopes, I'm probably going to need to wear like some cheater glasses. <laughs> but uh, anyway, yeah, having a really good time up here. Texas Gun Experience is a great place. I think this bog death grip thing, I mean, look, it's just holding it, and I'm just standing here. And I mean, you can move it around, you can do what you want. Um, I've been checking it to see if it's raising up, it's not. So, there you go. But remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation, so we all got to carry on.